from one uh, Shannon to another, uh, Kahir, like I just want to uh, note uh, and welcome the resolution passed in the U.S. Senate uh, last night, uh, reaffirming their unwavering uh, support for the Good Friday Agreement and its full implementation. Um, we had a similar motion last week uh, in our Senate, uh, where we again reiterated and reaffirmed uh, our support. Collectively, we called for the full uh, implementation of the Good Friday uh, Agreement. With an amendment from myself, we added the Stormont House legacy mechanisms, and indeed, with an amendment uh, agreed from uh, Senator Black, uh, we also included a call for the establishment of a citizens' assembly to plan responsibly for constitutional change down the line. We also have heard a call leader from 25 uh, members of the U.S. Congress calling uh, on the president, uh, their uh, president Biden, to appoint uh, a special envoy uh, to the North. Uh, mm -hmm. I think. That's a very welcome call and one that we can support. Uh, I, I think it's necessary in, in these uncertain times post-Brexit when it's really crucial that we all uh, not just reaffirm our support for the implementation of the agreement, but we all uh, work to ensure that that implement, implementation takes place for the benefit uh, of all. So if it's uh, agreeable to the Leader and indeed uh, to the House, I would propose that uh, you write to colleagues in the U.S. Senate uh, to welcome that unwavering support for the Good Friday Agreement and indeed that call uh, for uh, a special envoy uh, for the North and to uh, remind them uh, and indicate to them of our own shared uh, support and call for that full implementation as well. I think that's a really good idea um, to write the letter on behalf of uh, all of the senators on this side of the pond. Um, to congratulate and to thank, I suppose, the senators and the colleagues that we have in the US Senate um, and to support the uh, special envoy um, suggestion that was made, so I shall do that today and send everybody a copy of it today.